Well, outside of, you know, you're doing the, uh, you know, the Venice, the Venice Street comedy. Yeah. You know, you get, uh, you know, you get your HBO special. Right. But you're also doing movie appearances. Well, I was doing film and all that because of Venice Beach. Okay, right. Because everybody I, gets, kid would come to Venice Beach. Right. He's, Hollywood he's, Shuffle he's, was, I guess, the first one that you were in? Uh, no. Yeah, Hollywood Shuffle, very first one. That was, but Robert, Robert knew me. So Townsend knew me, and I was going back and forth to the Comedy Act Theater as well. So we, you know, sort of had a relationship. He sort of knew who I was, and I was doing Venice Beach and started to make a little noise on Venice Beach. So that was the first one, you know. But then the next thing was um, Johnny Be Good mm -hmm. with Anthony Michael Hall, Robert Downey Jr. Both of them were like 18, mm -hmm. and Uma Thurman, who was 17 and spoke seven languages, you know. I got that because I was on Venice Beach, and, and the guy who directed it, who's a great director, Bud Smith, legendary director, came out and saw me, you know, and invited me for the, the, the invited me to the show. Same thing with uh, Hot Shots Part Do, uh, uh, with, with Charlie Sheen. Yeah. They saw me on the beach and said, man, you got to come and be in this show. So I started getting films and sitcoms, 227, all these shows, because people would come on the beach and see me, and I was in an element that was totally free. I could say what I want, say it how I want it, in an environment where I'm surrounded by every person. White, black, young, old, gay, straight, transgender, Asian, Hispanic, you name it, transgender, they all stood there and they didn't come to see me. They came to the beach to get a cheap slice of pizza for a dollar, you know, to look at girls in bikinis, you know, mm -hmm. and get a cheap t-shirt, four for ten, and they'd see this big <laughs> crowd and end up standing in that sun for an hour and then wait to pay me. People would compete with each other to see who could pay me the most money, man. You know, so it was just a great, great, great environment. You know, it was really cool. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the, the filmography. I mean, there is House Party 3. Which is probably the most popular movie I did, is yeah. House Party 3. People come to me every day with lines from it. That thing is 15 years old, at least. And people talk to me like they just, like it came out yesterday. Kids walk up and know all the lines. I don't know the lines. <laughs> I don't remember them lines, and they come up, I hope you got some toe jam cracker. I don't want to hear it. Now, you two clowns better get my contract signed by tomorrow. And uh, one little thing for you, Lee. I'd like you to check out one of these TJ hors d'oeuvres. What? Oh, that's a toe jam cracker. Yeah, I like to call it the chronic. <laughs> You know, so Showboat, and I, and I am grateful to that. You know, I know people who are mad for the moniker or the name that they have stuck to them. Like, like they say the guy don't want to say Dynamite. JJ, he get upset if you say Dynamite because he's so tired of hearing it. I don't ever get tired of people coming up and remembering what I was in because that keeps me alive. It keeps me relevant. It gives me an opportunity to come and do these shows, yeah. you know. So they come to me, hey, man, you got told you I'm cracker? I don't get mad about that. I'm like, yeah, brother, I got something for everybody. Now I'm feeding into what they're feeding into. So they're the ones who are going to come to my next show. They're the ones who are going to buy that CD because I don't, I don't scoff people. I don't, you know, I don't turn people down. I don't turn down pictures. If I don't take a picture, something's very wrong with me because mm. I, I, I ain't in this game because I'm shy. I want my picture in every home in America. Right. Well, you're also in Poetic Justice. Yes, Poetic Justice was so good. That was so much fun. And that was very interesting because I was still on Venice Beach and I couldn't get auditions for these. And I couldn't understand why I wasn't getting auditions. I was with CAA and this was John Singleton's. Mm -hmm. And, and my, my agent, uh, Donna Chavu, was the only black agent. And she got me the interview. She got me the, the audition and it had one and a half lines. And I sort of think that somebody thought that I was going to see this one and a half lines and say, oh, man, I ain't going, man. I ain't. man. Let me tell you, all I wanted to do was get in front of the screen. So I didn't care about the lines. I played the homeless guy. So I wore my raggedest clothes, my funkiest gym shoes, went and found a homeless guy and bought his sign, you know, <laughs> and stood in front of the place during the auditions and tried to flag people down to get 50, 50 cents for a hot dog. That's trying to get 50 cents from a hot dog. For anybody that went by just to be in character. And John Singleton came out and because security came out and said, you can't be out here doing this. And I said, dude, I'm here for the audition. And he went back in and told John Singleton. John came out and saw me and laughed and went back in. So when I came in and auditioned, I didn't even have to audition. I just started talking to him. They said, man, go on, go on the wardrobe. You know, you know, I said, dude, I'm in wardrobe. And, and it got me the part which ended up with four or five scenes in the movie, which started out with 
a sentence and a half, and I think that's a lesson to anybody who's out here auditioning. Don't worry about the size of the lines. Get in the room. You want to get in the room. Did you, uh, did you interact with Tupac at all? Yes. T T Tupac was a friend of mine anyway. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because he would come out and see me on Venice Beach. Ah, and okay. he would come to the comedy store. And he was like a, a kid. That guy had such a joyful, young spirit of life about him. He now, he wouldn't, get in, he wouldn't signify with you. But he would get you and the other comic to go at each other. He'd come to the comedy store and play. He just loved to laugh. He was just a great guy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I saw him there and we hung. I was a lot of great people in that movie, though. Janet Jackson? Janet Jackson. She was great. At Regina King. Regina King. You know, a lot of great people were in that. In that, and I didn't even know. I just, I just saw myself getting another movie part. I was just happy to be in it because I came here to be a star. You know, that's what I want to do is be a millionaire until I get here and realize the world's not about me. It's really about me finding my brother. So instead of trying to be a millionaire, I attempt to be a billionaire of being. Mm -hmm. I want to be the greatest human I can be. So instead no. of trying to make a living, I live my making. My making shall make my living. That's why my life is really wrapped up in not just performing, but always trying to give back, always trying to help community, always trying to help homeless. This, when I go back and do the Venice Beach show, all the money we collect, we're taking to a homeless shelter. We're going to film that because we're going to take it to the shelter and pour it on the table. Mm. So they get the money right now. We're not going to collect from people and then we write a check because that will also bring attention to that shelter. So people watching it worldwide will send money to that shelter. You know, that kind of thing is what I want to do. Very dope. I mean, yeah. you continue to do stuff. I mean, you were on, uh, you were in Norbit. You were in, uh, the, on the Bernie Mac show, Everyone Hates Chris, the Cleveland show, Black Dynamite, which I loved, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I got uh, to do a voice in that. Blackish. I yeah, mean, you just kept like, you just kept working and kept getting your roles and I continued keep on to do stand-up and everything else like I'm that. I'm staying relevant, baby. Yeah. I got to do it.